Yes, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, yes. Thank you. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody just go ahead and tell them thank you. Thank you. Has he been good to you? Yes, Has he been good to you? Yes, Has he been better to you than you've been yes, to yourself? Yes, today is the day that the Lord has served. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. Let us serve him. Let us rejoice uh, and let us be glad in it. We ought to come in here on this Pentecost Sunday to give God nothing but praise. We ought to come in here on this Pentecost Sunday to give God nothing but glory. We ought to come in here on this Pentecost Sunday and give God our best uh, 10 second hand clap of praise up in here because today is the day uh, that the Lord has made. Uh, let us rejoice. Uh, let us say hallelujah. Let us say thank you, Jesus. Let him give us the highest praise, uh, which is a high Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Thank you for new mercies. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes. Today is the day that we celebrate Pentecost, which is the birth of the early church. And we ought to come in here today on fire and be glad to celebrate because where the spirit of the Lord is oh, yes. there is liberty yes. the Bible says that that there where the spirit of the Lord is you have the freedom to praise and worship God in his presence not worrying about him and not even looking at her but fix your eyes on the hills uh, from which cometh your help uh, and I guarantee you uh, once the service is over you wouldn't even know that she was there. Once the service was over, you can't even remember when he came in because you received your blessing by giving God all the praise and worshiping him in spirit and in truth. First, giving all praises, thanks, honor, and glory to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is first in my life. I, I give thanks to my wife and we give thanks to the Trinity Church family, we give thanks to the Reverend Clergy, to the ushers, to the choir, to the stewards, to each and every one of you, sir and ma'am, in your respective places, and to the body of Christ as well. It's only two things that I ask of you this day, as I've always asked. Please, sir and ma'am, let's please pray with me, and please pray for me. Yes. Let us pray. Merciful and gracious God, we come at this hour or no strength and no power of our own, we come because of the new grace that you extended to us and the new mercy that you've given unto us for this day. Father, we come to rejoice and we come to praise you. We come to thank you. We come to honor you and glorify your name on this Pentecost Sunday, oh God, where the word says that your spirit fell fresh uh, on the people in the church. Uh, and they were speaking in utterance and they were heard in their own native languages uh, giving you praise and giving you thanks and giving you honor and giving you glory. Holy Spirit, uh, you're welcome in this place today. Uh, stop by Trinity A.B. Church uh, for a little while. <coughs> Come on in. Uh, you're welcome in this place. Uh, start on the choir off uh, behind me. Uh, and come on down past the pulpit. Uh, go to the Amen corner. Uh, and go to each and every pew. Uh, each and every heart. Uh, and each and every mind. Uh, wrap us up. Uh, tie us up. Uh, and breathe uh, a fresh anointing on us today. Breathe the Holy Holy Spirit on us today on this Pentecost Sunday that we may jump up, we may run, we may shout, we may dance, we may praise you, we may honor you, we may glorify you on this Pentecost day, oh Lord. I ask now that you move James out of the way. Let me decrease and you increase in me. The words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart. Let me acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I ask now that you take James and dip him down, way down, deep down, further down than you did the last time. Fill him with the Holy Ghost. Fill him with the Holy Ghost. Fill him with the Holy Ghost. Him the Holy Ghost. We're trying to lose. So preach, proclaim, and declare your word unto your people on this day. Yes, yes. Have mercy, Lord. So just in case that there may be one. Have mercy, Lord. Oh God, that's sitting or standing amongst us. That don't know you in the pardon of their sins. 
There may be one that's sitting or standing amongst us that may be just sick and tired of being sick and tired. And they want to cry out, I yield, I yield, I can't hold out any longer. I've been asked for God that you would save that soul and write that name down in the book of life. Now this is your servant's prayer. I pray with much love and thanksgiving. Let the church say amen. I've often said to you that when the scripture <clears throat> is being read, yes. that you pay close attention to what is being said to you. So the scripture reading for today is the same scripture that was read. Luke chapter 5, verse 17 through 26. But we want to go and just lift up verse number 17. But for those of you that came in late, I'm going to go ahead and read it so that you could get a better understanding of where the word is coming from. So Luke chapter 5 verse 17 simply says, One day as he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem, were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was present for him to heal the sick. Some men came carrying a paralytic on a mat and tried to take him into the house and lay him before Jesus. <clears throat> when they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, friend, your sins are forgiven. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law began thinking to themselves, Who is this fellow who speaks blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus knew what they were thinking and asked, Why are you thinking these things in your heart? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, Get up! Take your mat and go home. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Immediately he stood up in front of them, took what he had been lying on and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God. They were filled with awe and said, we have seen remarkable things today. My brothers and sisters, this is the word of God for the people of God. Somebody ought to be able to say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. I want to go back and lift up verse number 17. It simply says these words. And the power of the Lord was present for him to heal the sick. I'd like to talk to you on this Pentecost Sunday from these words. The power was present. The power was present. So we take a look at the scripture that tells us that Jesus is in the house and uh, he's preaching and there were some friends of a paralytic man according to the scripture my Count total comes up to a total of five. Because there was a man that was on the mat, and then there were four others that were carrying him. Mm -hmm. And here we find that also those that were there that were present were the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem. They were sitting there. And in the midst of them sitting there, they are watching what Jesus does. As so, when we come to church, uh, we watch what the preacher does, and we watch what the ushers do, and we watch what the choir members do. We sit there with this agenda, uh, whereas we watch one another. We come from this church uh, to that church uh, to see what's going on over there. 
as people will say, well, I'm hearing you got such and such going on uh, at Liberty Hill. Uh, let me go to Liberty Hill. Uh, I hear such and such is going on uh, at Society Hill. Uh, let me Society Hill, uh, and I heard that such and such is going on at uh, Union Cypress, uh, uh, and that the elders over there today, let me go over there and see what's going on, uh, and then last but not least, uh, I hear them say uh, that they got a little something going on over there uh, at Trinity, uh, let me go and see what's going on. But then when you get in there and you get in the circles, uh, you sit uh, and you watch. Uh, you won't give God praise, uh, but you come to get a story that you can go and tell a story. But I come to tell somebody that this story says, uh, even though uh, they are sitting there, uh, the word of God tells me, uh, if my memory serves me right, uh, in Psalm 23, uh, that God prepares a table before me uh, in the presence of my enemies. Uh, but also it says uh, in here that there was power. The power to heal yes. was present even though the enemies, oh good God Almighty, I wish I could get some help in here, Reverend Jerome. The power to heal is still in the place even though the enemies are there. So on this Pentecost Sunday, I want to talk to you about the power was present. So we come on this Pentecost Sunday to talk about the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. You've already sung the song, uh, there's something about the name of Jesus. So we come to take a look at there are a house that's full with Jesus in there and that you can't even get in. You know how it is in the neighborhood uh, where there's somebody that's prominent that, that has passed away and everybody wants to get there to get to the funeral, uh -huh. not necessarily to pay respects, uh, but sometimes uh, with an agenda uh, to get some news and, and carry some news. Uh, and sometimes uh, if you get there late, uh, you can't get in uh, because they got the doors blocked. Uh, they got the aisles blocked. Uh, they got the windows blocked. Uh, they got the fire escape edges blocked. Uh, you can't get in, but I haven't seen nobody cut a hole in the roof in this day and time to bring somebody to Jesus, because I come to tell somebody there's something, there's something about the name of Jesus when you call on the name of Jesus demons got to flee when you call on the name of Jesus there's healing when you call on the name of Jesus there's deliverance when you call on the name of Jesus Something on the inside begins to make you want to run when nobody behind you. Make you want to shout. Make you want to dance. That's because the power is present. So we hear this morning on God's grace and on God's mercy. So I come to remind you, my brothers and sisters, on this Pentecost yeah. Sunday morning. It's not just about the power being present, but there's a history behind this that goes with you. There's a history that goes with you, Pam. Miss Mary, there's a history, Reverend Jerome. I'm going to tell you about it in a minute. There's a history here, First Lady. Joanne, Lysandra, Bailey, Marquise, Friz, and Sister Zella. Yeah. And there's a history in here for me, too. Yes. Let me tell you about this history. So somebody just asked, and I'm glad that you asked, what is the history? The history is about faith. And the faith for the Pentecost Sunday, for the power to be present, it goes way back to our ancestors. It goes way back to our grandmothers. It goes way back to our grandfathers. It goes way back, Sister Joanne, to those of our ancestors that had a relationship with God and had favor with God. And when you was acting crazy as a child, your mama, she prayed for you. Your grandmama, 
she prayed for you. This is what I'm talking about. And God had favor with your grandmother. God had favor with your mother. And there was power that was present to bring you out, to bring you over, to bring you through. Because if it had not been, if it had not been for the Lord that was on our side, where would we be? The present. So as we talk to those of you that are home, wherever you may be, or whenever you get a chance to watch this video, the power, Sister Zala, was present. The power today is in this place. We don't have to have a church full of people in order for the power to work. Well, sometimes people get in your way. They'll block you from your blessings. But I come to tell somebody in here today, some of you are on your max of pity. Some of you are on your max of sorrow. Some of you are on your max of domestic violence. Some of you are on your max of financial issues. Some of you are on your max of sickness. Some of you are on your max of pride, of jealousy. Some of you are on your matter that you're riding around and it seems like you can't move but I come to tell you I come to serve you notice that you can get off your mat today because the power is present to heal the power is present to heal If Bailey and Marquise were to bring these children down to the altar call because they may have something that they're dealing with, but they believe and trust in God and have faith yeah. in God, they could be healed today yeah. because the power is present. So as we look on into the scripture, they finally get this man before Jesus. And they drop him at Jesus' feet. Just like your grandmother. Just like your mother. And our ancestor, Sister Joanne, we dropped, they dropped us at Jesus' feet. How did I know that? Because they came down to the altar. And they dropped us down there. And they called us by name. They said James. They said Carrie. They said Mary. They said Dolores. They said Pam. They said Rosa. They said Lysandra. They said Bailey. They said Marquise. They said Zella. And they said Fazel. They even dropped James down there. That was a long time ago. And I come to tell you that they kept praying. And they kept praying, and God kept moving, God kept working, God kept healing, God kept delivering, God's been a waymaker for you, he's been a waymaker for me, and then here comes these people that said, why you keep praying for Carrie, why you keep praying for James, they ain't gonna never change, but I come to tell you, Jesus said, yes, right. wouldn't it be easier to say just get up? Off of your mat. Yes, sir. Get up yes. out of yourself. Yes, Wouldn't it be easier than to do all those things that you're trying to do uh, by the law? He said, let me tell you something. Uh, the Son of Man uh, has come uh, with the authority uh, to heal uh, who he wants to heal. Uh, to deliver who he wants to deliver. Uh, whether it's on a Monday, uh, whether it's on a Tuesday, uh, whether it's on a Wednesday, uh, Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday. Then they went on to say, who is this man that speaks blasphemy? One thing about it, when you got God's favor, even though you're sitting at a table in the presence of your enemies, man, he will anoint your head with all, your cup will run over, 
and I come to tell you, he says, I have the authority. And he said, friend. And the friend he was talking about, he said, friend. Marcus, he called him by name. He said, Bailey. He said, Lysandra. He said, Joanne. He said, Fazel. He said, Zella. He said, Dolores. He said, Carrie. He said, Mary. He said, Pam. He said, Rosa. He said, James. Your sins are forgiven because of the help of the people who brought you here. Under the power, the power is present to heal. I don't know about you, yes, but I can remember on my day when I felt the presence of the Lord. Yeah. Every day has not been Sunday, but I jumped up and I began to give God praise. What did you do? What you going to do? That power is present to heal. You may have lived in, but you can walk out. You may have come in slow, but you can move a little faster. I want to tell somebody the power. To heal. We didn't get here on our own, friends. You heard me say Sunday after Sunday. Somebody prayed for us. Had us on their minds. Took a little time and prayed for us. But we had to come to the point in our lives where we had to make a decision. Some days uh, it's rainy, Sister Rosa. Some days it's cloudy. Some days the sun won't shine as many. But I come to tell you, uh, in spite of you, uh, God looked beyond your faults. Uh, God seen that you had a need. Uh, but he remembered those uh, that brought you. Uh, he remembered those uh, that called your name. He remembered those. Uh, and he said, friend. The sins are forgiven. Now, get up off your mat. Get up off your mat, nothing personal. Marquise, get up off your mat of envy. Joanne, get up off your mat of jealousy. Friends, get up off your mat of hatred. So, get up off your mat of pride. Get up off your mat. God didn't say, get up off your mat and be healed in the moment. The word of God says immediately. And the man jumped up and he gave God praise. I believe in my heart, I believe in my mind, I believe in my soul. He said, I got my feet back. I can walk now. I can talk now. I can praise now. But that's not all. I believe he said, Joanne, I believe I'll run on and see what it is. That the man jumped up and said, I believe I'll run on and see what the end is going to be. And it said, the people said, Marquise, that they were in awe, meaning like, oh my God. And the word of God says that the people got together. Instead of whispering and moaning and groaning after the service, Sister Rosa, uh -huh. it said they got together and said, we have seen remarkable things today. Yeah. Come to God Almighty, nothing but the power. Yeah. The power. Yeah. Somebody said the power. Yeah. Somebody said the power. Yeah. The heal is present. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I come to tell you, on this Pentecost Sunday. Yeah. You don't need a whole lot of people. Uh -huh. See? Yes, everybody's got somewhere to go. Uh -huh. yes, sir. One thing about life, uh -huh. life is about the choices that you make. That's right. You pick and choose where you want to go. Uh -huh. Some may have picked and choose to go to Liberty Hill. Uh -huh. Some have picked and choose to go to Union Cypress. Uh -huh. And the rest of us, we chose to come to Trinity. Uh -huh. But may God bless you. May God heal you. May God deliver you because the power is in Trinity. At the hour of 11:10, somebody said, The power, the power, the power, the power, the power. Thank you. Thank you. 
So I say this to you, my brothers and my yes. sisters. Go back and read it for yourself. And just know that you walked in here, you may have walked a little slow, but you always hear me say, Father, we come, Sister Joanne, on no strength of what? No power of our own. We come because of your grace, which is sufficient. And we come because of your mercy that endures forever. So we came this morning, not under the power of our own strength, but under God's grace, under God's mercy. We came into this place under the power. Because the power is present. The power is present to heal. The power is present to deliver. And I pray that each and every church that's celebrating Pentecostal, Pentecostal Sunday, that the power will fall fresh wherever they are. Just remember the word for your life of the day and for this week is the power was present. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Is there anybody in here feeling that power? Yeah. If you're not ashamed, you should be dancing. Huh? If you're not ashamed, you should be running. If you're not ashamed, you should be saying, thank you, Jesus. Huh? If you're not ashamed, you should be saying, hallelujah. Huh? Thank you for the power. Thank you for the wonder-working powers. Huh? Thank you for the healing powers. Thank you for the delivering powers. Huh? Thank you for the power that allowed me to walk in here. Thank you for the power that allowed me to talk. Huh? Thank you for the power that allowed me to teach, huh? to preach, huh? and to give God praise. This morning. Yes. And just remember at the end of it, yes, there's going to be several meetings at the end of the service. Yeah. Just remember Jesus. that the people said, Sister Zella, we've seen remarkable things today. Yes. See, it's one thing to hear about it, Brother Marquis and Sister Bill. But it's another thing to be the experience it for yourself. Yes. God Almighty, I wish I could get some help in here. Yes. I wish I could get some help in here. But I come to tell you, those of you that are watching, just go back and read that scripture for yourself. Luke 5, 17 through 26. Lifted up verse number 17. The power was present to heal. If you believe in it, if you trust in it, you have faith in it, God will say, friend, my friend, your sins have been forgiven. Sometimes we don't have the mindset to pray for ourselves. For so we need somebody that's got a connection. That God's got favor with them. That when he hear their voice on your behalf, he'll bless you. When he hear their voice on your behalf, he'll heal you. When he hear their voice on your behalf, he will deliver you. When he hear their voice on your behalf, he will bring you through. And he will bring you out. But once he bring you through, then he bring you out. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget who brought you through. You go and you pray for somebody. The power was present to heal. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. The word for your life for today and this week is the power was present. You could add heal, deliver, and set free. Whichever your situation is, everyone's standing. Jesus. As we now open the doors of the church, so just in case there may be one that's sitting or standing amongst us that don't know yes, Jesus in the pardon of your sins, yes. there may be one that's just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yes. And those of you that don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins, it doesn't matter what you've done on last night, it doesn't even matter what you've done last week. You have another glorious chance this morning. Uh, while the power is present, uh, you can come and give me your hand and give God your heart. Will there be one this morning? Will there be one this morning? There may be one that's sitting or standing amongst us that's looking for a church home and you'd like to make Trinity AME Church your church home. My staff and I will no wise cast you out, but we will bring you in and nurture you under the fold. Will there be one today? Will there be one today? 
while the power is present, we will have an altar call. If you desire prayer, you can come to the altar just as you are. But we still ask, Bailey and Marquise, the choice is yours to bring the children to be anointed and be prayed with and prayed for. The word of God says, Jesus says, suffer the children not, but bring them unto me. So we ask today that if there's anyone that needs to be prayed with or prayed for or to be anointed, please come as we will anoint the children. Miss Mary, would you please pray for us? You've got the power. You've got the power. Down at the cross. Yes. Where he shed his blood. Get right with God. Get right, get right with God. Yes. One more time. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm still fighting a 
in and out, hot, cold, warm areas. Um, but nevertheless, the power is yeah. present to heal. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel all right. Jesus. So just know for this day and for the week to come, yes. the word for your life is the power yes. is present. You add whatever your situation is to the end of that. And after that takes place, he deserves it. He deserves it. So as we prepare now to leave this place, merciful and gracious God, we come at this hour just to tell you thank you for your power. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. And oh God, as Peter said on the Mount of Transfiguration, this is a good place to be. So we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the power. We thank you for what you've done, what you're doing, and what you're still yet to do. And as we prepare now to leave this place, but never your presence, I ask and pray in the name of Jesus that you would dispatch those angels one more time. Let them wrap us up. Let them tie us up. And just let them tangle us up in the blood of the Lamb, protecting us and our coming and our going from any and all of the evil. The danger, the sight, jealousy, and the perilous pluses, along with any sicknesses, ill diseases, and old viruses that may be lurking around. These and all the many blessings we ask in the name of the Father, we ask in the name of the Son, we ask in the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Now this is your servant's prayer. And I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, with much love yeah. and thanksgiving. Let the church say. Let the church say. Peace.